Okay. I think you're good. Okay. Hi guys. Um, so I love post to post I've been using it. Um, I think like a year ago, actually. Yeah. Like last year was when I really started using it. And it's funny because I've gone, I've gone in and out of being like really all in with Facebook post to post and then being like, Oh crap, I need to start using Instagram again. And like trying to find like a, a balance. Um, I'm going to be honest. I love Facebook post to post more than anything. I'm not saying like one is right or wrong, but you know, you'll find whether you're new or not that maybe one thing just works better for you and that's okay. And, um, so I've learned to really just put a lot of my focus into Facebook post to post while still like using my Instagram a little bit. Um, and I don't want to go too far into that, but I just want to kind of explain that. So, um, I will be really, really honest that the months that I go all in with Facebook host posts are always, always, always my best months enrollment wise, like always. Um, so, um, okay. So I just love it. Um, I'm going to try not to be all over the place, but I kind of just am as a person. Um, so basically one really, really big thing that works super well for me. So, I mean, every day I message people on Facebook for host a post. Like I'll message my new Facebook friends for host a post. <clears throat> and I message them saying, Hey girl, um, can I ask you a question? And no, I'm not trying to sell you anything. LOL. Like with like emojis, people think that's like super, super funny. And then my second message when, cause that gets them to reply and that's going to help your algorithm, whether or not they reply to the next message because they replied to you once. So Facebook's like, Oh, they want to talk to you. Whereas like if they didn't reply to you at all ever, Facebook thinks they don't want to talk to you. So that's why I like that kind of first message to get them to reply. Um, and then the second part is just like, oh, um, feel free to say no thank you, but I'm doing this giveaway or I'm pushing for a big promotion with my business. I'm doing um, you know, a giveaway for whatever we're doing the giveaway for. Um, if you'd like a free entry, all you have to do is put up a post for me. It's super simple. I'm gonna send it to you. Um, I'd appreciate it so much. It would mean the world to me. Um, are you interested or whatever? And a lot of times people say yes um, or no. So that's what I do for like all of my new friends. And, you know, I'll kind of figure out how many people I want to reach out to that day. It, it depends. I'll, I'll try not to get off track. Okay. So what, um, that's what I send to my new friends. But a lot of what I've been doing lately, because my personal goal, because, because Facebook host to post is like my jam and what I'm really going all in with my personal goal every day is to get up like 20. Um, and if you get up 20, I, I say most of the time, like your phone's probably going to be blowing up. Um, today I got up like over 30. So like, it really just depends on like how your day goes. Um, but what's been working super, super well is I post about the giveaway one to two times a week. And the reason I'm always getting comments on those posts, because I know there's probably people on here who are like, okay, cool. I posted about the giveaway. And like, I got like one comment, you know, that's because you're not super, super intentional with everything you're doing on Facebook. And I, I don't want to get too, too deep into like everything about Facebook, but you want to be cautious about what you're posting on Facebook. If you're going to utilize it, because if you're like clicking the share button all the time, like that's going to affect who sees your posts. Like nobody's really going to see your posts. Honestly, if you're constantly just sharing a million things a day, um, you're basically then when you are working, like you're just wasting your time, honestly, because like nobody sees it. Um, so I literally post two to three intentional posts to my feed every day. So on my feed every single day, I do a life post. Um, you know, a picture of me, a picture of me with Nova uh, doesn't, maybe it's not always very long or whatever, but I'm always life posting every single day. Um, I do almost every single day, maybe sometimes every other, just depending on like where I'm at, if I, what I have to post, I'll do something interactive. So interactive for me is either asking a question or, um, I I'll find like a meme, like I'll literally go out of my way to find like memes that are funny and I'll save it myself and I'll post it myself. And really frequently I'll get like hundreds of shares off of them and I'll get a lot of people tagging their friends and commenting on them. So even though that's not like getting me customers, it's getting me engagement, which is helping my algorithm. Right. So again, because I do things, that's why I'm always getting comments when I'm doing doing things for business when I'm doing. So my third thing, if I'm doing a third post is either, um, something to try to get customers, maybe some sort of now hiring post or, um, or a hat post. So again, I'm doing two or three posts on my feed a day. 
Um, I really try not to do more than that. I find that if I'm doing more than that, I'm just not really getting interaction on any of it. So I, I really try to be intentional with that. So um, with posting about the giveaway, there's all different kinds of ideas. You can talk to your upline. You can you know, find things. You can look at what other leaders are doing and get inspired by that. I find a lot of what works really, really well for getting me um, a lot of people coming to me is when I post um, fun things like, what's your favorite kind of ice cream or whatever? Like, let me know what your favorite kind of ice cream is if you want an entry into my $50 cash giveaway, picking three winners on Friday. Tons of comments. Um, one that like literally blew, blew, blew up. And I think a lot of people were, have been doing it this past week or so was posting. Um, if you're on Emily's team, she had posted like the proof of her sending it through Venmo. So people are like, oh, it is legit because I've actually like seen people, like people get skeptical. There are scams out there. You know, we know we're legit. Obviously we know what we're doing, but other people don't. And so you have, you want to kind of think of it from their perspective too. So when they're seeing like, oh, this is a real giveaway, like she's like, people are really getting money sent to them. Like I literally, and I, again, I, I do these posts super regularly, but I got like almost 200 comments on that post. I never get that many people like wanting to enter, you know? So like literally it's kept me super, super, super busy over the past couple of days. So if you haven't done that yet, highly, highly, highly suggest. But again, because I'm intentional every single day, I've been doing this business for three years. I'm very intentional with what I post every day. That's why I always get interaction on those, right? So anyway, um, basically when people comment on those posts and, um, I go to message them, what I send them is short and sweet. It says, hi, to be entered, you'll just copy and paste a post that I send you and make sure to tag me in the post and just let me know when it's up. Super simple with a heart. Sound good. Obviously some people don't reply. I don't care. I don't pay attention to that. They're just the people that I'm going to delete when I have to clean out my friends or whatever. Um, but a lot of times people say yes. So I very quickly get up a lot from that always. Now, again, like I said, I'm usually trying to get around 20 ish posts a day. If I can get more, that's awesome. I'm uh, really judging it by how busy I am, like how many people are messaging me back and stuff. But, um, when they say yes, I usually get up a few a day for the giveaway. And that's because I want to make sure I'm like growing my network and getting like new people who've never talked to me before automatically posting for me because again, I've been doing this for a while. So a lot of people who want to post for me have posted for me before and like, that's fine. Like I'll let them, but like, I want new people to post for me because those like their friends haven't seen my posts yet. They haven't seen all of that. And so it, it gets me way better interaction. So um, I'll have them post for the giveaway and I actually stole this from Haley. <laughs> Haley totally shared this with me, but it actually says ladies and it says 18 plus. So before like a lot of dudes would comment, people would comment and they'd be like 16 and like, I don't care to engage with people who can't really help me. Right. Like I don't really want a 16 year old posting for me because most of her friends are also 16. You know, I don't really want dudes posting for me because personal preference, but I just prefer not to like be messaging guys. Like they're kind of, sometimes they're creepy, whatever. So anyway, um, that's like, by doing that, I literally get so many comments and what's been working literally so well for me. I only just started doing this really recently, but people comment on the post. It says like to leave an emoji and a lot of people leave emojis. I reply, I request them. I reply to their comment and say, Hey, um, just, um, DM me the word giveaway when you accept my friend request. And so the thing is, um, with Facebook, if you're mess, like, if you're trying to do this many host to post, Facebook's going to block you like super quick. Like Facebook's going to make it so that you can't message new people. Then you're going to be super frustrated because you have all these people that are like trying to help you work and you can't get back to them. And then like, you know, you're blocked for like 24 hours. And then by then who knows if they're still interested. It's like a whole thing. So this is literally working so well all freaking day guys even still like i'm getting dms giveaway 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 give like i have people in my inbox wanting to post for me like it's bomb so because also you do have to be kind of slow with like adding people and stuff too so that's literally been like game changing and then those people i'm sending them the same thing hey to be entered blah blah blah, blah. um and people are like yeah those people, I'm having them post for weight loss. And so that's a personal preference. Again, um, I always just have people host a post either for the giveaway or weight loss because I like to sell weight loss. I want that big BV. Like I mostly get like 120s, 145s. So like, I'm not trying to just sell like one bottle of hair, skin and nails. Like I'm trying to get like big orders, you know? So 
that's really what I stick with. Um, I've been doing a lot of Thermophyte X posts. Um, Can I lately, cut you so off for a second? Yeah. Can I ask you something? Of course. <laughs> um, sorry, before, I know you're like going to get into the conversation a little bit, but how someone asked to, um, and it was a really good question, I forgot who asked it, but how do you stay organized with like people posting for you, people commenting, like do you have a special system that you use? So now that we like, keep track of them by commenting our, um, our entries. What I've been doing is I screenshot, like as soon as I get the notification of the post, I screenshot it, but I don't like post it on the host to post thread until nighttime. Like, so I haven't even commented my entries from today yet because I want to be able to double check them. I want to be able to like keep track of them. And I'm just going to get really, really confused if I do them as I go. And again, that's personal preference. So maybe that may or not work for you, but I know that tonight, right before I go to bed, I'm going to make sure I like comment all of them or first thing in the morning if I forget you know so that's what I do there and then like I'm horrible at deleting my pictures on my phone it's actually something I really got to get better at so I have like almost 30,000 pictures but um I also like will go through and like pull those people back up make sure I didn't miss anybody because I have them tag me in the post but sometimes people um don't tag me in the post and whatever. So I, I, I keep track of them on my phone and I can just literally go through and double check the post, see if there's any more, because Facebook's going to tell me if people comment, but not if people like it. And I, I message those people too, because a lot of the time people that liked it are interested and you don't want to miss out on like a triple threat because you were like, didn't think they were interested and you didn't message them, you know? So that's what I do there. And I don't know if this is part of what you were asking too, but I also keep track of every person that's interested every day in my planner i literally write down every person and i get, i always get their phone number but if they're like weird about it or if they're like older like kind of old like i'll just stay on facebook with them because then maybe they don't really know how to text or they're not comfortable with it or whatever so i keep track of all those people in my planner because i do not ever want to like forget to follow up with somebody um and before when i didn't keep track i i know i was missing out on people you know so that is what I do there. Um, I don't know if that answered your question. No, that's good. Um, and I know I cut you off, but you were going into um, having a conversation about thermal fight when someone comments. Yeah, so um, I've been doing, I've been having them do um, the thermal fight X post a lot, but not the one that says $36 a month, just the one that says like two pills a day or whatever. Um, I think it's like right on our giveaway post. Um, but so that's the thing is that's a really good way. Like it's very, it's an attention grabber, but you know, for those people too, I'm requesting them. I'm replying to their comment, DM me weight loss. Cause again, I don't want Facebook to block me and people are, people are messaging me immediately. Um, and so then I get their phone number. Um, can we just give you, can we guys just give her props right now? Because Nova is screaming in the background and she's just staying so calm. Like, they're you're playing, staying so calm. <laughs> they're like playing catch with like her ball. Um, but yeah, so, crap, I Sorry, I had distracted you again. No, it's okay. Um, so yeah, so those people, like I message them and this is what I've been doing too, is I make sure that the people, like as soon as I know that they're interested, I'm writing them down because before I was waiting until I got their phone number, but all that you ask for their phone number and they just like, don't buy, like they forget or whatever like happens. So I don't want to miss out on anybody, you know? So, um, I ask for their phone number, I get their number. Um, I'll just go through really, really quick the way my weight loss um, conversations look because they literally all look exactly the same. I literally am like, hey girl, it's Marissa. How are you? They reply. I say, um, you know, I'm doing good. I'm so excited to tell you more. And that's such an easy way to just like get right into the conversation without being like weird about it, like being personal, but just like good move into business, you know? And so I'm like, how much weight are you trying to lose? <clears throat> and then they'll tell me. And again, like, I'm asking the same questions, but I'm like kind of being personal with them too, you know, so they'll tell me how much weight they want to lose. And I'm like, all right, let's do this. Are you active at all currently? <clears throat> and then like, they'll tell me and, um, I'm like, okay, how's your diet? Do you eat pretty clean or do you slip up a lot like me? And I feel like that's really key because I'm like kind of opening that door that like, Hey, I eat a lot of chicken nuggets. Like, it's okay if you do too. Like, I want you to be honest with me. I don't want you to like, tell me what you think I want to hear. Um, cause you know, we have products that are going to help them if they do eat junk, you know? So they respond to that. And then I ask if they like coffee. Um, so basically if they like coffee, I'm getting that, I'm making them get the skinny brew, 
with the carb control and the thermo fight x and that's 120 bb um and then it's nice because with the skinny brew they can customize their coffee however they want but pretty much that's like a bomb pack if you ask me like the thermo fight x is going to be awesome like that with the carb control or that with the coffee is going to be amazing and like the carb control I, I feel like is just so 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 key because realistically like nobody eats perfect and that's literally what i say in my script to people and i just send results and then i am um i give them the price i ask if it sounds doable and i send them more results and then at that point again i'm going to be really really quick about this, this is the last thing i want to say if they so i ask if it sounds doable say they say yes it sounds doable i say awesome do you have five minutes to order now they say yes i say great i just need this info i sign up almost every single customer on my end because i want to have full control like the thing is like it's awesome that we have tools where people can sign themselves up on you know on our website but like people get confused by the website and um i've had people check out as retail even though i told them exactly how to check out you know and then if they ghost you like that's such a pain in the butt or i like to know like that they're actually doing it properly you know and that they're not going to just like take the link and then like ghost me like i want to keep control and make sure it gets done correctly and that it actually gets done you know so I know a lot of people are like, oh, people aren't going to want to give me their card info. Like, no, get that out of your head. That is completely not true. And when people are weird about it, like if people are like, oh, is this like trustworthy? I'm like, yeah, girl, like I do this every single day. Like I used to work in banking, like it's fine. And people are like, okay. And very, very rarely people will be like, can I do it myself? And at that point, like I don't push it because I, I do want them to trust me and I don't want them to like back out or be weird about it. But almost every single customer I do myself. So, and again, it makes it so much easier to get the big BB orders because like I said, that's a 120 BB right there. And at that point, once they send over their info, I say, awesome, um, I'm putting this in the system right now for you. Would you wanna add a two day cleanse and then like a brief little um, description about what the cleanse is? And then it says, um, you'd be saving over a hundred dollars today. Do you wanna do that? And I always add into like everybody adds this onto their packs. That's the psychological thing. If you say everybody gets that, people are like, oh, if everybody gets it, like, I guess I need to get it. So like they don't question it. Almost every single person adds it on. And even if, even if they're only getting one product or two products or they're getting something smaller, I always, always, always throw in that upsell. Cause at that point you have their info. Worst thing they could possibly do is say, no, I'm good. Or like maybe next month I want to try this stuff first but at least you planted that seed and like you got them really interested about it and you're getting them excited too. That's the other thing. Um, so yeah. And then, um, I was going to say too, so if they are interested and they don't order immediately, you always, always, always want to end the conversation with like getting a date of when they're going to order and also having them host a post. And then once they order also having them host a post. So like, it's just a never ending cycle. <laughs> so good. So good. Okay. So I'll also, um, Marissa, if you can, whenever you can, I know you might have to go because of Nova, but um, can you post some of your scripts like in the comments of where the Zoom was posted on the page and we can relay it. I know everyone's probably wondering. So um, at the end of the Zoom, we'll make sure that we all do it. Um, but do you have to go right now or do you have another minute? It's okay if you have to. I'm good. You're good. Okay. She's good. Um, She's watching Elmo. Okay, cool. <laughs> um, someone asked when you bring up like the 90 day challenge and waiving the $50 membership fee. Oh yeah. Yeah. Um, when they, when I tell them about the price, I have like just a message that explains the price. And then I, I have another message that I'll send separately after, um, that says like the one, the 90 day challenge is one order a month for at least three months. You can change it up if you want. Um, I can put it in the post, but it just says like, yeah, it's like super flexible and stuff. And if people are like iffy about committing, I, I will send them an audio and I'll be like, I totally understand, you know, this program's made to work for you. It's so flexible. You can literally get something different every, every month. Like you can change when it runs, like it's, you have full control. And I really emphasize that to them. Like you have full control over this. Um, and like, this is what you want to do. Um, but almost everybody like understands that usually from the get-go anyway but yeah i always like explain that awesome perfect all right thank you so much marissa you freaking rock if you guys have questions for marissa drop them below in the chat or drop it on facebook somewhere um 
but I'm going to, I'm going to talk a little bit next because I want Haley, I want Haley to be like the cherry on top to talk, like to have us all three connect, if that makes sense, just the way that we're going. Um, because we both did learn a lot from Haley. Um, but the main thing, the main thing that I really want you guys to understand and take in is I can sit here and read off, off these notes. I have three pages of these. These are just host to post notes. Like I can sit here and read off all of my tips to you guys, but it's, tr I, it's trial and error. It's trial and error because the post that I post may not connect to you. Or for example, maybe you have amazing, um, maybe you have amazing skincare results, right? I don't suggest that you should be posting for Thermofy, even though I personally believe that Thermofy X is the most popular one. I, I would suggest you post something about skincare, for example, right? So it's just trial and error. But before I continue, my best freaking advice is do not try host posts for four days and get up 10 host posts and say that it doesn't work and people don't message or po message you or comment on the post. You can't even, you can't, you can't even say that you've tried it for an entire month and you've gotten up 30. Like it just, it doesn't work that way. It's a, it's a minimum and I can't, I don't even want to give you guys a number because each day is different, but my minimum is 10 up a day, 10, just 10, right? And I have signed every single loyal customer this month, I think minus one of them. And I've signed almost 30, 99% have been on host posts and I've been doing a minimum of eight to 10 a day, right? So if I can get up eight to 10 and you can get up five a day, like just think about it, right? So it's, it's a numbers game for sure. But let me move on. Now for Facebook, if you guys have specific questions about like how to work Facebook, you can ask, but I'm not going to get into that because again, I just showed you three pages of my notes that I have. Um, but okay. What do I do? Do the same thing as Marissa guys. You need to be posting interactive posts. How do you do this? Pinterest, go to Pinterest. Not right now. After make a note right now. Um, go to Pinterest, make albums, an album. I can't, I have a weird, weird Valley accent. Um, you know how you make like, not albums, that's Facebook, uh, boards, boards on Pinterest. And you can make your own boards for Facebook interactive posts. Guys, I just figured this out a week ago. It's going to blow your mind unless you already know. But when you go to Pinterest, you type in Facebook interactive posts, you will have a lot of fun because there is a galore like I'm not even kidding you, Glora Post. Not only that, they have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday ones. Like, you know, the giveaways sometimes do like Taco Tuesday and stuff like that. They have each day of like, it's just, it's overwhelming in a really fun way. But um, I hope that helps you guys out. Yes. And Danielle, thank you. So a lot of these are, these are not, it works related. But when we do a host a post, right? It's usually an interactive post. Sometimes it's not. Sometimes it can be very basic. And guys, you can listen, we use social media. I know my name isn't on here right now. So that kind of stakes. I can write it for you in the chat or someone can, but you can go and follow me on Facebook. You can go follow Marissa. You can go follow Haley when we talk and you can go creep for months on our page and you can save literally everything, but do not post the same exact post that we do word for word verbatim. It's going to kill your algorithm and it's going to hurt you, right? Guys, where do you think all I get all my post ideas from? Like Pinterest a little bit, but I am a hardcore expert creeper, right? You know, when I post things, I make sure that someone else posted it like weeks ago and I change my own wording around, right? It's not, it's not, it's about working smarter, right? Okay. Where the heck was I at before? Pinterest. They also have Instagram stuff. I have boards for Facebook, Instagram. It's amazing. It's great. So interactive posts. 
You have to be adding people on Facebook too. I add a minimum of 30 to 50 people a day. I'm kind of laughing at that because I actually really don't do that every single day. But adding is very important. Why don't I do this every day? Because once you, once you build your friends on Facebook and you are posting and interacting with them and you post about the giveaway, for example, or you start messaging on Facebook and you're getting host to posts up that way, it's a never ending, host to post works for you basically is what I mean. Host to post is going to do the work for you, right? So what do I mean? People are commenting on my post, want to be entered in the giveaway. People are answering me for my message, asking them to post for me, right? They make a post. Do I get tons of host posts with zero comments? You freaking bet, but I keep going. And then I get my post up. People are commenting. I respond to them. I tell them about the product. I immediately ask them to post. I never end a conversation and leave it and do not ask the person that I'm talking to to host post for me. I don't care if they're a potential distributor. I don't care if I'm talking to them about any freaking product. It doesn't, it doesn't matter. I talk, I ask every single person to post to me and it's a never ending thing. Why? Because when people are commenting, the first thing you need to be doing is adding them, just like Marissa said. So I'm constantly building my friends, working through host posts. Does that make sense? Who is lost? Is anyone lost, like completely lost, Nicole, you're so funny. <laughs> All right, if you guys keep on me, you need, to add, you need to at least like comment on a photo and be like, I'm creeping you right now. Okay. All right. So there's definitely people who are lost considering three people said they're here. Um, but I'm going to tell you, it's totally fine. Take a deep, take a deep breath because I told you guys the second that this started, you are most likely going to be overwhelmed. I'm going to be completely honest with you, but I will tell you that host post is going to absolutely change your life. Okay. But you got to do it first. Super important. I hear this from people all the time about Facebook, no one likes, no one comments, people aren't messaging me back, my algorithm, what's going on, I can't get as many comments as you, blah, 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 blah. What, guys, come on, we're so smart, right? So, okay, guess what I did when I started using Facebook? I went to YouTube and I YouTubed how to fix my Facebook algorithm. That's it, that's my big secret. That's literally my big secret. I just literally told you guys my secret. I'm not even kidding you. That's what I did. And guess what I found that was consistent among a lot of videos I watched? Editing your friends list. So I said, okay, these people are professionals. I'm gonna start editing my friends list. So what do I do every single day? I wake up, this is a huge tip for you guys, and I'm not gonna go into like order like Marissa did. I'm just gonna tell you my, my best tips and advice because I do a lot of the same stuff she does. Every single morning, you, you, you know when you go on Facebook, you see the notification of everyone's birthday that pops up? Am I, are you guys with me? You know, you see like everyone's like, you know, Danielle and 15 others birthday today. Some people are gonna like this, some people are not, but I'm telling you it works. Well, I click everyone and I go to the messages with them first. And if I do not have a message with them and I've been friends with them for like two years, I unfollow them. Yes, I'm a horrible person. I unfollow people on their birthday. It is what it is. That's what all the videos said to do. So that's what I do. If I talk to this person before, then I send them a personal message, happy birthday or like happy birthday on their wall. It sounds really silly. It's the one difference thing that I've done for the last two months and it's completely changed everything. Something else that I do too is I go to my friends list and you can organize your friends list from oldest to newest now. And I start from the bottom and I take a deep breath. Like, okay, I'm gonna see all these names and faces that I went to high school with. It's the last thing I wanna do right now. You know what I do? I unfollow all of them. That's what I do. And I'm still, guys, it's been like a long time of me doing this. We have so many old friends that we don't communicate with. Guys, get them out. 
get them out. We're trying to we're trying to build an empire here. You can talk to your face your uh, your high school friends another time. So I unfollow them, and guys, I don't know why. I can't tell you why, but it works. This is going to help face. This is going to help your Facebook algorithm. It's been the biggest, 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 biggest change. I unfriend them. You want to be editing your friends. If you want, you can go and follow them. You want to go follow some old friends and you just like to creep on? Go and follow them, but unfriend them. And not only that, guys, you're going to hit 5,000 friends really freaking quick. Really, really, really quick. And then you're stuck. You don't know what to do and you're freaking out. You know why? Because I literally just hit 5,000 again and it's been like a few weeks since I did that and I just did it today. And it's, and it's annoying, it's frustrating, but you need to keep up with unfollowing, which I didn't, so don't make my mistakes. Okay, Marissa, she said, do not repost posts on Facebook. Don't do it, it'll kill your algorithm. Stop like reposting memes, save the funny picture yourself and post it yourself, right? That's gonna help your algorithm 10 times. It, it's literally the complete opposite from each other. And it stinks sometimes because I wanna share things, um, that I can't like take from people, if that makes sense. But I kind of just like suck it up because I don't want to hurt my algorithm. Um, how does it affect the original posters, post algorithm? So, it does, so it doesn't affect, it doesn't affect the person who posted it. It's gonna affect your algorithm if you're constantly pressing the share button on Facebook. Guys, listen, don't ask me how. Just know that I've been enrolling a crap ton of massive orders this way. So I can't tell you the science, but I have facts that it works. Okay. Um, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Huge tip. Stop being task oriented so much. Still do it, but be goal oriented. Guys, listen, I know some of you may not be read. I understand it, I understand it, but listen. Some days you're gonna do the task list, task list that you have, and you're not gonna get the results that you wanna see. Sometimes you do it, and you're gonna get the results you see, but some days you're gonna to have to work harder than others if you wanna be making money consistently. And now it's like prime time, guys. Like people are, people are looking for this opportunity, right? So, um, goal oriented. What do I mean? Stop saying you're going to message 50 to 100 people on Facebook a day or on Instagram, for example, say, I'm going to message until I get eight to 10 posts up. That's it. And that's what I do. Right. So that's why some days my task list is different because I'll make a post and be able to get 30 posts up in an hour right? Or some days it's a little slow and I have to put in a little extra work and message some extra people to get up 10 plus posts, right? So work on being goal oriented. I think the number, my number of 10 minimum a day is a little small, but listen, it's working. So we're going to boost it up together, right? Um, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Tip. If you are not if you're someone who's saying, I don't get comments, or like you're not getting interaction on posts that people are posting for you, there's, it could be two things. One, you're not getting up enough post posts. Or two, you're having the wrong people post for you, right? So if they are young, like super, super, super young, or if they have like 200 followers, like it's gonna be more tough for you, right? It's gonna be a little more tough. So that's my two big pieces of advice is, you know, you need to either get up more posts or you need to make sure that you are having the right people posts. So what does that mean? Maybe you need to focus more on who you're adding and be intentional with that. I think someone asked a question. All right, speeding up for you, Haley. Ooh, I'm out of breath. So I don't, okay, if I post something to my page and I do not get more than one or two likes and or, and like one or two comments within 30 minutes or 20 minutes, I delete it on my page because it's going to hurt my algorithm. But if someone 
posts for me and I don't get, they don't get any comments. No, because it's not hurting my algorithm. It's hurting theirs, which doesn't really affect me that much. Plus that's way too much work. Does that make sense? Kema, is that how you pronounce your name? Follow up. That's it. Indefinitely. So you can't do it anymore until they sign up or they tell you to leave them alone. Okay. Um, okay. Another tip, another tip. Um, I forgot what that was. I was just thinking it. Okay. Staying organized. All right. <laughs> you guys know me, you know, I stink at this, but this is what I do. I don't stink at it. I just do it differently. I'm very fast paced. Um, I just, I work, I work differently than a planner and that's just me. So I use albums in Facebook. So every time someone posts for me, I click the three dots in the top right of their posts. I click save. I have an album for March host to posts. I have an album for March follow-ups and I have an album for like the actual March host post giveaway, for example, that we're having that I have to go to to enter people, right? Um, so I'm not going to the page every time and scrolling to find the giveaway in our group page. And then, you know, I just, these are just little things I do to save time. Does that make sense? And um, I saw a question, try to be quick, try to be quick. DT host post. So, um, does that make sense for, for what I do? I literally just use albums, I'm not even kidding you guys. It's how simple it is. And what I do about every other day, or probably every day, I go in to my saved albums. I'll scroll down a little bit. So I go through the people that posted for me yesterday, Tuesday, and I'll go on their posts and I'll see if I missed anyone, any of the comments, or well, and I click each person who commented and I check the DM with them and I follow up that way. And I do that every single day. Um, what did someone say? Okay, so for distributor posts. Um, okay. I post probably 90% Thermophyte X, 10% post to post, post giveaway, post post giveaway. So 90% Thermophyte X and then the other 10%, I'll have two or three people, maybe four or five, depending on the number that I'm getting up that day, post the giveaway that I'm having to continue it. I stopped doing distributor host posts on Facebook. Why? I tend to notice that it's a lot of older people. I get a lot of older people who buy products from me, right, on, on Facebook. So, I stopped doing that. So now I get all my loyal customers on Facebook and all my distributors on Instagram. So I do go down to my old followers on Instagram. I'll send them a message about host to post and I'll give them a post for their story for distributors. So does that make sense? Distributor host post on story for Instagram, customer host post on Facebook. That's what I do. That's just what works for me. I'm out of breath. Okay. Alexa, so um, you can't necessarily avoid unfollowing your, your potentials. It just kind of stinks, but that's why I also get everyone's number the second I start talking to them. It's unavoidable. I've probably had two people call me out on unfollowing them within four and a half years of my business. And I work my business like 27 million hours a day, every day for the last four years. So I wouldn't worry about it because it's really, you know, just don't, don't overthink it. And you know what? You can't get emotionally attached to it. That's my best advice. You just can't get emotionally attached to that because it's really just not worth it. I hope that helps. Okay. Haley, let's go. Let's do this thing. I think I unmuted you. Uh, wait. Okay, can you hear me? Yes, I do hear you now. Okay, great. Hi, guys. Okay, so I just wanted to say 
Really quick. First of all, um, everything you said was like perfect, top notch. I love that. And same thing with Marissa. Like, I think the one thing that I noticed is that a lot of you, even though Emily literally said in the beginning, she was like, everybody take notes. So many people have their cameras off. So many people are on their phones. I've seen like 10 of you taking notes and those 10 of you that are, you're going to be so successful after this. So freaking successful because that was me on host to post zooms, taking notes from people who were successful. Um, so I just want to say like, I'm proud of you. I see you and good job. Um, because I feel like there are so many people, like I've done so many host to post zooms, like over the last year and a half. And I still get the same people in my inbox saying, Hey Haley, what host to post do you use again? And I'm like, girl, go watch the zoom. Like that's why we do these is for you guys. So I, I absolutely love those people who are taking notes and paying attention. Um, so I just want to say, first of all, that I was not a big Facebook fan in the beginning. And whenever I joined in July of 2018, I didn't do Facebook. Like I was so all over Instagram cause it was new and I didn't have an Instagram started Facebook post to post in like November, but that's only because like people were doing it and people were saying that it works, but I had the worst mindset about it. I was like, I don't want to ask people like people I knew from high school to post for me. And I, like, that's all my friends. Like, I don't want to ask them to do that. Right. I was so nervous and I did it anyways. And it sucked. It literally sucked. Like I got no comments. I got no likes, but you want to know why it sucks It's because my attitude about it sucked. And because I knew and told myself going into it that I wasn't going to like it. And that I didn't want to do it. Like I did not want to do it at all. So a lot of people will come to me and be like, Haley, I get a lot of hosts to post up, but I'm getting no results. And a lot of times, maybe, yes, maybe it is somebody posting for you that's younger, but a lot of times it's you. Like, I'm sorry to say that I'm sorry to be in your face, but like, it is you, it's your mindset about host to post and the fact that you like, don't like it or it's out of your comfort zone. But like, we have to get over that. You know what I mean? And just realize that it does work because it's working for all three of us that like are on this zoom. Um, and for me, whenever I started doing host to post and had a better attitude about it, it was when Dee Brooks did a live and she talked and she's ambassador diamond, I think, I don't know. Um, but she was like, I got 45 LCs in 20 days and they were all from host to post. And I was like, like, I want 45 customers in 20 days. And literally I'm at that level now. Like that's me now. And when she told me that that was possible, I went out and did what she did. She shared her coffee, I suppose, and I went out and did it. Um, now, granted, I don't do, do the same things anymore because we evolved. Thermo Fidex came out. Like, I'm literally keeping with the times as best as I can, just like our company is every day. So for me, like, growing into different host posts, you know what I'm saying? Like, I do Thermo Fidex and giveaway now. And then if they've done Thermo Fidex and giveaway for me, I'm throwing in coffee because the Skinny Brew is freaking bomb. If y'all aren't selling the Skinny Brew, get on it. Literally every single one of my LCs has a sample of the skinny brew. It's insane how amazing this product is. Y'all need to be selling it. Even if they don't like coffee, be like, listen, you don't understand. This isn't a normal coffee. This is totally different. So for me, I just want you guys to realize how much potential is just in one host of posts is just in one person. You can get one person to get 150 BV worth of product. All their friends are gonna sign up as LCs or they're gonna sign up as distributors or whatever. They're gonna buy sample packs. Everybody's gonna be interested in your business. Everybody wants what we have, okay? Um, so going forward, I do wanna say that I do a lot of voice messaging. Uh, anybody who knows me knows I love to voice message and if I'm not voice messaging, that probably means that something's wrong. <laughs> um, I literally love showing my excitement because I want them to like hear it in my voice, hear my passion, hear my excitement and hear my love for the company because that makes them fall in love with it. Do you know how many people have told me they're talking to other distributors from It Works or other distributors from different companies? And they're like, I was talking to them a couple weeks ago, but I like actually unfriended them because of their posts and because of who they are. And I didn't like it. And I was like, oh, well, like, I'm really glad you chose It Works. I'm really glad that I could be that person that convinced you to do this. You know what I'm saying? So, and it was actually a person last night. She told me that she was going to sign up with Plexus or something. And she chose me. She said the other girl was super rude and mean and didn't have any like love in her posts. So it is what you post on Facebook. I really love that Marissa said that because for me, I post four times a day minimum. I know it's a lot, um, but it's not always, it works. A lot of times I'll be sitting there and I'll have this moment and be like, oh my gosh, I really love this quote that somebody said two days ago, I'm going to word it in my own words and post it on Facebook. You can go to my Facebook page. It's like a lot of quotes on there that I really, really love. And then I'll get like 50 likes and that boosts my algorithm. That's an interaction post for me. Um, and so I really like, I'm really into God. So I, I'm posting about that. Um, I'm posting life posts that I post on Instagram. I'll also post them to Facebook as well. Um, and I'm posting product posts. 
all the time, guys, and I'm going live. I am scared crapless to go live, okay? Like, I don't really like it, but I know that it, like, benefits me. Every time I do it, I get a customer. So, like, why not? You know what I'm saying? So, it scares the crap out of me. Like, if y'all don't think doing that doesn't scare me, it does. But I do it anyways because I know it's going to benefit the business and it's going to help more people. You know what I mean? So, like, for me, like, I'll do one, like, every couple of days. And it's always me making my skinny brew, talking about a triple threat sale, like, something like that. Um, so for me, like I, I love keeping my Facebook interactive. So I just wanted to give that a little bit of a preface for host of post, because what I'm about to say is going to shock a lot of you. Um, I do not cold message for host of post, not one. I do not cold message at all for host of post. Um, <laughs> I know that's really shocking, but I mean, like I post giveaway host of post and that's how I get people to post for me. Um, I posted a post on March 5th. At 9 a.m. and I said drop a picture of your fur baby below to enter into my $150 giveaway over 700 comments over 700 comments so many people want to be entered in cash giveaways especially with everything going on in the world everybody needs money everybody needs extra money so at the point that all they have to do is post a post for you to get money to get products to get free stuff people are going to take you up on it um, so by the time that those people do comment and let's say they've posted a thermal fight x host post for me before like em said they're gonna post a giveaway post a post for me um and then all their friends are gonna be my new friends so i don't need to add 30 to 50 people anymore because i reach my limit too quickly or i get super close like i get to four i'm over four thousand, and it's making me anxious like i'm like oh like i don't like this like i don't want to hit 5k right because i know there's plenty of people that i can bring in that are new fresh faces that want my products now so that time adding people, it's all the people from giveaway host to post. And I know a lot of people get blocked. So exactly what Marissa said, I will friend them, copy the message, which my message is, hold on. I'm going to find it. I'm going to use it really quick. Here we go. It's very simple. It says, Hey babe, do you want an entry into my $150 cash giveaway this week? They say, yes. I say, okay, post this and tag me in it. I don't like, I don't do anything else. Like I've noticed that simplicity is key in this business, keeping it simple, not being like, cause I always used to be like, okay, there are this many winners. It's announced this time. You're going to get this. They can see that on my page. I post about the giveaway. I post when it's happening. I post all of that. You know what I mean? Um, so I always say, Hey babe, do you want to enter into my $150 cash giveaway this week? Um, when I'm asking people to post for me, I ask all my LCs to post for me. The moment they sign up, I'm like, Hey, by the way, I'm having a $150 cash giveaway. Do you want to be entered in that? They're like, yeah, why would I not want to be? I'm like, cool, that product that you started with that you're so excited about, I want you to post about that because I want your friends to get on that with you and be a part of that journey with you. Um, so I'm Haley, can I stop you for a second? Sorry. Yeah. No, you're fine. I hope this doesn't piss any of you guys off because I, I got to do it because I got to ask questions. Okay, so um, let's say we got new people on here or you sign up a new distributor and they have like 500 friends or a thousand friends. Do you, do you tell them, like, do you, do you have people add on Facebook consistently every day being new? No. Okay. So you just are having them post about the host, about host to post. Yeah. Like I'm having them post about the giveaway. Yeah. Okay. Or yeah, about the giveaway. Sorry. So let's say, let's say, um, someone's on here and they're saying, well, I'm new and I post about the giveaway and I got like two comments and no one even wanted to post for me. What do you do next? Then yeah, expand your friends list. I mean, I had to do it. I had less than a hundred friends on Facebook and I didn't have an Instagram when I started. So, and here I am with almost 5,000 friends on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Like it grows, but yeah, I mean, if obviously if you're at that stopping point, I used to add friends and a lot of them I ended up deleting because only a couple were, were the people that I was looking for. And those people have grown and grown and grown and grown. And I'm, I'm friends with their friends of friends of friends of friends. So it's mm -hmm. like, it gets bigger. Yeah. So if you're stuck. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Sorry. Continue. No, you're fine. That was perfect. That's a good question. Cause yeah, at one point in my life I did add cause I didn't, I didn't have the friends base that I have now. Um, and I do want to say that you have to be intentional. You have to use Facebook, um, uh, or Facebook. Well, use host to post intentionally. And what do I mean by that? There are plenty of people out there that have told me I've gotten 200 host to post up Haley and I have less than 10 customers. I can tell you right now you're doing, you're doing something wrong. It is like a mental block 
in your head because you should have way more than that. If you're getting 200 hosts to post up so far, it's the 18th of the month and you have less than 10 people. Guys, that's one every 20 hosts to post. One customer every 20. That, there's no way. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm here to tell you there's n literally no way. You should have way more by now. So there's, there's a mental block and you have to literally pull it down because it's you. I'm telling you it's you. And I know that's hard, but I had to tell myself and get over that block. You know what I'm saying? That's why the second time worked for me. The first time did not work for host to post because I had a bad attitude about it. And I was like, I got 20 up and I don't have any customers. Like that was me, but I had to get over myself and be like, okay, Haley, it works for others. Why would it not work for you? That's what I said about this business. When I joined, it's working for them. It's going to work for me. You know what I'm saying? So have that mentality going in. Um, and fix your timeline settings before you do host a post, fix your timeline settings, go to settings and privacy, go to settings. This is how I stay organized. Go to settings, go to timeline and tagging and scroll all the way down. And it's going to say this thing. It's going to say, do you want to review your posts when people tag you in them on turn it on? Yes, you do. Because they're all going to sit there in your review timeline. I don't hide the posts and I don't add them to my timeline. They're all there. And yes, I write their names down. Every person who posts for me, they're written down, right? And they're also posted to like our team giveaway page, but like they're all right there. So then when I want to, when I, when people comment, I get notifications. I get a ding on my Facebook that says, oh, hey, Chantel just commented on Amy's post, like, or commented on a post that you're tagged in. So I'm tagged in it. It's all in my review timeline, but it's not anywhere on my timeline. And it's not that I'm not tagged. I'm getting notifications. So every time somebody comments, I'm getting notified about it. Um, and yeah, I post TFX giveaway and coffee mostly. Um, and then my minimum is 10, but obviously I aim for 30, but minimum before I go to bed, it's 10. Like I stayed up until 2 AM yesterday because I didn't have 10. Like, you know what I mean? I had enrolled. I was Gucci for the day, but I was like, I only have six. I don't like this. So I got to make sure that I get 10. And that meant staying up until two in the morning. How many of you would have done that? A lot of y'all would have went to bed. You would have been like, I enrolled my customers. I'm Gucci. I'm going to bed. I had to get up my 10. You know what I mean? Like minimum of 10 every day on Facebook. Um, and then I'm like, like Marissa said about um, making sure that you're posting your, I like that she mentioned this. She said, you're posting yourself. You're selling you. They chose to follow you. So like, whatever you're posting on Facebook, when people friend you from those host posts, they're, they're seeing your page guys. So the, whatever you posted last, if it last, it was a shared meme about coronavirus. They're going to be like another girl posted about coronavirus. That's the last thing they want to see. Be an outlet of positivity, right? Because that's what people are looking for right now. They're looking for a leader. They're looking for positivity. So be that outlet so that when you friend them on host posts, they're not going to instantly unfriend you. They're not going to ghost you. They want to see who you are. They followed you for a reason. So like, take that as like, oh my gosh, they followed me. Yay, they friended me back, you know? Um, don't focus on the people that aren't friending you back. Don't focus on the people that are on Facebook once every two weeks and they commented on the giveaway host post and then they didn't respond to you. Don't focus on them. Focus on the people that are talking, that you're talking to, that are following you back. Um, I tell you what I do do, I do do <laughs> on uh, Facebook host posts um, is I comment results. Every single time that I get a Facebook host of us up, there's a result. If it's coffee, it's results. If it's thermal FedEx, it's results. If it's a giveaway and it says common in emojis, ladies, 18 or older, going to be entered into my girl, uh, going to get a free entry into my girl Haley's $150 cash giveaway, like common in emoji. I'll comment an emoji to get it going, get it rolling so that people are going to be like, oh, there's already comments. I, I want to enter too. This is a real thing. You know what I mean? Um, I'm trying to think here also. I like wrote a lot down. <laughs> um, I send a lot of follow-ups. Um, so a lot of people are like, they ghosted me or they posted for me and now I don't know what to do. Well, you know what I do? I say, hey girl, I just had a spot open up in my uh, weight loss challenge to lose 10 to 30 pounds by May. Would you be interested? It's super simple. It's super simple. And some of you are like, I don't know if I ask them if they're interested in the product. They posted for me from a giveaway host to post, but we haven't talked about the products. She sees my page. How do I get in there? Easy way in, easy way. And if they're like, no, I'm actually not looking for weight loss. You can be like, hmm, potential distributor. Everybody has a reason for being on your timeline, okay? And once you get that in your head and you believe that, that's when everything changes and every single person is special that you talk to, okay? Um, and again, 
take interest in them. So the moment that I get someone to comment on a thermal FedEx weight loss social post, and this is kind of chugging along into like conversations. Um, but as soon as I send, like they are interested, I'm like, cool, this is this, like I send a script, like we just have this weight loss product, average weight loss 31 pounds in 90 days, has a clinically and medically proven ingredient for weight loss. Would you be interested? The moment that they say yes, I'm like, yes, let's do it. Can you guys imagine the excitement? I'm like, yeah, let's do it. Like, I am so excited. So I literally say, yes, let's do it. These are most recent customer results in one month. I'll send them some results. What do you think? They're like, oh, that looks great. I'm like, perfect. I'm doing a promotion right now where you can get my personal discount. The Thermal FedEx retails for $60, but you get it for only $36 with my monthly challenge. How does that sound? And everybody's like, dude, that's cheap. Like I had a girl telling me, she goes, are you kidding? She goes, that's cheap. Like, what's the catch? I was like, there, there is no catch. That's, that's it. Like, that's my discount. And she's like, oh my God. Like, that's the kind of people that I'm talking to. So for those of you who are like, I get tons of people who say they can't afford this product. That's crap. They can't afford it. They just got to choose where they're putting their money. And you need to show them that it's great because once you, once they see those results of one month, one week, maybe you have your own thermal FedEx results, they're going to be like, dude, that's cheap for the results they're getting in a month. Like, oh my God, you know what I mean? So like people want to see results. We're a results oriented company. I always send results. Um, and the moment that they say they're like, they're good with the price. I'm like, cool. Do you have five minutes to put your order in? Let me send you my link. They're like, yeah, let's go. I'm like, cool. What's your number? I get their number. And the next thing I'm saying is how much overall weight are you looking to lose? Overall, some people comment on the post and say, oh, like if I could lose 10 pounds, that would be wonderful. That's not their goal though. That's not their goal. That's just what they're hoping and wishing for. I want their goal. I want, what have you been working on for years? Like, what do you want? Like, tell me what you want. And so a lot of them will be like, you know what? hundred pounds. I'm like, perfect. You know what? You just unlocked my, my st entire store and almost all of it. And all of it is almost half off is what I say. All of it is almost half off. So like, give me a few minutes. Let me see how cheap I can get the, get a package for you. Let me take a few moments and put it together. And based on our previous conversations, if they have not answered these questions or told me who they are, because a lot of people will just spill their guts and be like, I have diabetes and I can't have sugar and I'm not very active. Will this product work for me? I have been trying to lose weight and I'm at a weight plateau. All those, all those things that they just told me is cleanse, greens, fat fighters, like everything they tell me. You know what I mean? Um, and a lot of times I'll be like, do you like coffee? before I, before I put the package together. I'll be like, by the way, do you like coffee? And they're like, yeah, I love coffee. I'm like, perfect. If they say they don't, I'm still going to do keto coffee and chocolate greens. Superfood Mocha Dreams add-on is my, my, like my baby. Um, so if you guys see, like, if they're not telling you everything, I'll kind of do what Marissa does of like, by the way, before I customize this package, do you eat a lot of fruits and veggies? Um, do you like tend to, you know, like she said, kind of like mess up a little bit, like I do, like eat those cheat meals. Um, you know, what do you do? All these things. Okay. Um, and then I'll customize a package for them and everybody looks different. Sometimes it is thermophytics, cleanse, super reds and probiotics. Sometimes it's literally made for them. So many people are like, Haley, I don't know how to customize a package. Guess what? Then you don't know our products. If you don't know how to customize a package for someone, then you need to go look at our products more. You need to familiarize yourself with what you're selling so you know what you're doing, okay? Um, and so the moment I get a package ready for them, I'm like, cool. And then I send them my results for the cleanse because I'm obsessed with my cleanse results. I'm like, these are my results. I'm so proud of myself. This is two-day cleanse results. If they don't want the whole package, that's fine. Minimum, they will have Thermal Fatix and Cleanse. Thermal Fatix, Cleanse, and Fat Fighters. Thermal Fatix, Cleanse, and Keto Energy. Because before checkout and before I say, okay, let's do it. I can send you a list of info I need. I'm at my computer. I'll put it in for you. They're like, that sounds great. I'm like, perfect. I'm writing up the steps right now. Do you also want to add on our keto energy? It's really great for a midday crash. I know that I always use it every day, like literally just throwing in little by little. And if they say no to that too, when I'm putting in their order, guess what pops up? Superfood mocha drinks. Even if they don't like coffee, even if they said no to keto energy, even if they said no to the whole package, I'm still asking because a lot of times they'll be like, you know what? Yeah, go ahead, add it on. I had a girl who told me she had a $30 budget today. She got the Thermal Fight X and then I added on the Fat Fighters before checkout. And then I was like, hey, by the way, the Superfood Mocha Dreams is right here. I told her what it was. I told her the price and I said, oh, by the way, you're going to get free shipping if you add this on. She's like, oh, girl, then just do it. Like, guys. 
stop. I, I love what Nicole said, and I'll never forget it. She said, stop putting a dollar amount on what on people like stop because I was a broke college student and I still bought the products. Like I literally wouldn't buy other things for myself. I wouldn't go out on weekends, but I bought the cleanse and the berry greens every month for three months. So like, don't put a dollar amount on anybody. Um, host the post is how I literally get like 85% of my customers. And if you guys aren't utilizing it, you are missing out on a lot of people that are looking for you, that are looking for your products. Um, and so they, they need you. And that's all I have to say is if you are not using host to post you're you're definitely like being selfish in a way of like not sharing your products with other people. So good. Okay. Amazing guys. I know we like went past a little bit, but, um, you guys got a ton of information. And like I said, I didn't even, I, I probably went over maybe 30% of, of my notes, but I want to I wanna end it with this and give you guys my, my best advice. And I've been, I just tried looking up the name of it and I have the name, but I'm not going to try to pronounce it and I'm just going to describe it. So really quick, y'all like ever, like, have you ever like went to go buy a car, right? Or you went shopping with someone and you, you buy a car and it's, um, I don't know, whatever that car is, it's like a red car. It's the first red car you've literally ever had. Or you went shopping with someone and your friend shows you um, a store that you've never like known before, right? And now you have, now you've seen that store or you, or you have a car, whatever. Um, and Haley, maybe you know how to pronounce it. But now like you leave and guess what? All you see is red cars now. It's like you knew red cars, cars existed, but... You see them everywhere. And now you know about this store and guess what? Every single person you freaking walk by, you swear they're wearing that brand. Do you guys know, am I alone here? Give me, y'all, y'all are alive right now. Listen, y'all gotta be alive with me right now. Do I see you? Do you guys get what I'm saying? Give me some thumbs up. Like, has that, who has that happened to? Okay. This is called like the B-A-D-D-E-R sun, 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 sun phenomenon. Anyways. Guys, this is exactly, it's a, it's a real thing. Y'all think I'm kidding, right? It's like scientifically like real, right? GTA, whatever. This is literally the same thing in something that is so extremely freaking important about this business. If the more positive you are, the more energized you are, the better environment you surround yourself with, guess what? The more you're going to get of that, the more positivity you're going to have around you, the better you're going to feel, the more freaking energized you're going to feel. Listen, Haley, she's crazy. She's just 24 seven going like, and she's just, her energy is absolutely insane. There's many times where I need to push the energy out of me and it actually physically hurts me right but guess what happens when i do it i send more voice messages i start signing more people i'm more happier i'm more clear-minded right everything in my life just starts getting better because i am standing up i am speaking i'm not just texting right i'm being more positive i'm being more energized no matter how hard it is to do that sometimes but I am not only giving it out I am now receiving it right and this is something that is so stinking important because I promise you I'm getting I see so many common questions in the chat where it's like you know asking questions like well I'm not signing well this isn't happening well that's not happening what is happening though are you getting up 30 hosts to post a day right? I promise you guys, we, we don't do anything. We don't have a magic spell. We are giving you exactly what we do every single day. You can go on YouTube and type in it works host post training and watch every single video from every single training. You have everything you need 
but you have to believe in yourself. You have to be positive. You have to put in the work and you just got to freaking do it. And you can't be, you can't focus on what is not happening because if you keep focusing on that, that's exactly what you're going to get. And it's just, it's just that simple, right? So give yourself some grace, work hard, stay positive, and it's going to freaking pay off. I guarantee it. All right. Thank you guys for getting on. I hope you learned a million stuff. I will post this on my YouTube and we'll get you guys all these scripts and stuff together soon to help y'all out. All right. Let's crush the rest of this month together. Good night.